What's going on guys, it's Nick here from Team Purple Haze and this is my first place OTS list. Uh, I played Snake Eye Fiendsmith. Now shout out to our sponsors, the first one being Grad, the best grading company in Europe, based in Pianeta, Hobby in Milan. The second one is Car Trader, the online marketplace platform where you'll find the cards you need at market price in one shipment only. Create your account using the link right here. The third one, Game to Collect, is one of the top Italian sellers on the market, specialized in high rarity American cards, code format and misprints. They also collect your cards up to 85% of their value. Next one is Magician Circle, a local store in Trieste specialized in sealed and custom products. They also host events for all TCGs. Then shout out to Game Lover, your favorite place based in Crema, where you can eat, play card games, table games and also video games. Next we got Aliandi, your go-to place in San Giovanni Lupatotto, where you can find mangas, comics, board games, singles and tournaments for all TCGs. Then a shout out to Planet Fun, the best place to go in Rovato for weekly tournaments for all TCGs. Last local store we have is Gamerland, based in Abiate Grasso, Lombardi's best shop to buy singles, sealed and play weekly tournaments. Then we have Chapa's Playmats, they produce amazing custom playmats that may have your own image on them. Last but not least we have Dragon Inc, they produce our official PA jerseys and cloth mats. All their links are in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. And let's just get straight into the profile. So there's 44 cards in the main. I uh, played 3 Snake Ash, 2 Poplar, 1 Oak, 1 Front Bridge, 1 Snake Eyes Devil Star, 3 Bonfire, 1 Temple, and 1 Original. This is standard like Snake Eyes stuff. Uh, nothing to really explain here. Um, and then 3 Witch, 3 Wanted, also standard. Um, I think the only time you cut down on Witch is when you play like 40 cards maybe. And then I played the Fiendsmith engine obviously, so 3 Engraver, 1 Lurian, 1 Tract. Uh, you can play more of this, but I think you just want to keep your, your death count as low as possible, so it's just not needed. Maybe after some hits after the damage, it, it might bump up. And then for the 2 1 of spells, uh, I played Cold Bite and Monster of Bone. Uh, these cards were just like good going first and second in the mirror, and just good overall. Uh, so I just wanted to play these. Um, Monster of Bone was just crazy good. But yeah, and then for the hand traps, I uh, played three Ash, uh, three Mona, three Vela, three Molchami, three Nib, and three Impin. Uh, so eighteen non-engine, um, and then Monster Bone and Cold as well. So like technically twenty non-engine, um, or like twenty cards that help you just like push through a board or stop a board. So yeah, so forty four cards in the main, and then for the extra. Uh, one Princess, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Heater, one Celine, one SP, one IP, one Apo. And then for the Fiendsmith cards, it was one Requiem, one Sequentia, one Moon, one Lacrima, one Desiree, uh, one Princess, and then Beatrice and M7 as the XYZs. I wanted to main deck this card because I thought like a lot of people were going to be on hand traps. So I just wanted like my main deck to play through hand traps as, as consistently as possible. And I was sliding it in too much for me to not main it, I think. Um, so yeah. And then for the tokens, Shower Kam Garashi. And then for the side deck, I played one Kurokara, uh, one Archie Eccentric. This is just like a searchable spell and trap card destruction. Uh, so like how it's like for gates and stuff, you can search off track this. It's quite, it's kind of nice. Um, it came up like once, I think, uh, for the OTS, but it, it is pretty good. I think I would play it again. Um, and then three Delta, one Gamma, one Driver. Uh, these were really good. Every time I saw a Delta, I put in so much work. So um, I think I'll probably play this again. Uh, it's really good against like Tempai and stuff like that as well. So yeah. Um, and then three Metal Tronus. I think this card's just way too strong. Going first and second. Going second, it puts a body on board and like stops stuff. And then going first, you can like set this. And then like... In the mirror, you just call Snake Eye Ash, you remove the body and you negate it, so it's just like an overpowered impin. Uh, so yeah, I think I think you definitely should be playing this movie. Um, it's better than like all the steel spells, I think. Uh, just because it's quick play as well, so it like plays around like anti-spell and stuff like that. Um, then one access code, one Lyralesque. The uh, reason I played Lyralesque is because I played Happy's Fire Storm um, for the blue tiers. So my blue tiers targets is... Uh, Featherstorm and Eradicator, that's where the access goes here. So it's like these and these. Um, the reason I played this over uh, Fucho 
is because this can just be like activated in draw phase and then you know you're not going to die. Uh, Fucho can be like Underworld Goddess or like Kurokarad or Santa Claus, Kaiju, anything. Um, and then you could still possibly die. Whereas with this, um, I was mainly like making this if you get shifted. So like they, they can't drop it, like maybe they have an impim, but they're probably impiming you on your turn to stop you getting to this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the side deck. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Hi guys, welcome back to Purple Team channel. I am Alberto and that's my second place at uh, OTS Master playing uh, Snake Out. Flanders is kind of unplayable, so I had to play this. Uh, before starting with the profile, I want to really shout out Sov, who borrowed me the deck and all the guys who borrowed me single cards because I didn't own one. And uh, Simon Giannino and Alberto Barzan for making the list with Anton and Nick. Uh, the list was crazy. If you didn't get entropy that much, you can end like FTK. FTK. Uh, but at the same time, the deck is pretty solid, so you don't need to do that combo every time. We can go for the list. Uh, I played uh, three Snake Ayash, uh, one Oak, two Poplar, one Flamberge, one uh, Witch, uh, Bad Witch, three Good Witch uh, with three Bonfire, three <laughs> Wanted and one Spell that are the, the cards that plays alone with the, the Temple. Pretty standard, nothing to say about this, like everyone plays this ratio. Uh, then I played three Engraver, one has been borrowed by Smith. Uh, thank you, Smith. Uh, with the other two, the Tractus and the Lurry, pretty standard, nothing, really nothing to say for the first 20 cards, maybe. Then 3 Ash, 2 Ogre, 3 Veiler, 3 Nib, 1 Magna, 1 Druiz, 1 Baldrake, and 3 Permas uh, hand traps. I would have liked to play Muchumi in main deck, but I only own 2, and I didn't think it was that good. I prefer to play this, because kind of, the, tourne the, the tournament uh, could have been uh, really random, so Ogre would cover Strange deck. Never draw that. Then 2TTT, my favorite card, I cannot play without this card, so it steals me 2 or 3 game, crazy. And anti spell, which is the, the main combo going first, uh, game 1. If you didn't find like Vampire or deck that plays Board Breaker, you can steal a game by, by the combo that I will show you. Uh, then the Finn's Meat Package, I couldn't play the Zirai uh, because I didn't have the space. And also, I want to play the Tris for the anti spell combo with. Uh, Griffon. Um, so I didn't have the space to play the Jirai, but I would really like to play that and to play that, and I probably will test it. Uh, those two cards are to make Antimid combo every time, even if you get uh, Perma Perma on uh, Ogre and Oak, uh, Ash and Oak, sorry. And the uh, other are standard, uh, really nothing crazy. One Ita, one uh, Phoenix to make Griffon uh, destroyable in battle. SP, uh, IPSP. Uh, with Princess and Selena's Link 3 and Apollo's only Link 4. I didn't play a finisher uh, because the combo is kind of FTK and the finisher was inside when I was going second. Going first, you, it's just, you are playing 14 cards in extra if you, go, if you win the dice roll and you have this card in your extra, so I decided to play inside. Then I played two Multurmi because I have only two. Two Spooky Dogwood. I am a shit, I win a game against one of my friends with this, so I feel very, very, very sick. Uh, this card is stupid, I really hate that, I hope they banish that, but you have to play that because sometimes a uh, match went to time and you can really nothing do about it. In the final I lose to, to the burn of Lacrimosa, so you have to play this. With to Smile, who are also searchable by Magnum, uh, really good, just draw one time and they get uh, cross-outed. Then Jinzo, <laughs> if you find the Labyrinth, I hard draw that going second, I special summon popular by Bonfire. Normal summon this and literally with the game, but you can send it with Flamberga, yeah, send it with Beatrice, spell and trap with Flamberga, and he, or you summon with Flamberg in hand, or you summon that with uh, the field spell if it activates, if he summons you, Sphere Model Lava Golem. Then one shifter as cross out target. Uh, with all those, I hate this card. I'm losing uh, match over match over match over match by this card because I only find Tempai. Today I didn't find one, luckily. Uh, but I also I already got shifted by Ritual Beast, uh, with Colled. And then uh, one Duster, but I had one spot, I didn't know what to play, I didn't know what to play the third uh, Spooky Dogwood. And this could have been useful in some spot. And uh, the searchable MST by Tractus. Uh, never needed, uh, probably will never play that again. So, nothing. This was the list. Hope you enjoyed. Shout out to all my teammates, all my friends who helped me build and play the list. To all my friends who teach me how to play this deck. And see you next time. Bye. Cheers.